Hello and welcome to Big Scott 35 uh, this morning uh, or today, Saturday, when, or whenever you're watching this. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I don't know if you heard or not, but I have announced it several times, talked to people about it at the shows. I uh, bought a super collection um, from Tanner um, of Gary Carter's. Uh, very happy with what I've gone through so far. Uh, it's actually uh, four of these. Uh, I hope you can see that. Two rows. Um, full so far, what I've seen. I've only gone through one row of one box, so about an eighth <laughs> of it I've gone through. And I'm going very slow because I'm going through every card. Uh, I am... Glad I have some knowledge, and I'm glad that I have knowledge to find what I don't know. And man, am I increasing my knowledge of cards. But we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, what I'd like to get into is, uh, first off, thank you to everybody that's subscribing. This has been awesome. This past week or so, I've, I've, I've had several new subscribers, several new people to the channel. Uh, I don't know if everybody has subscribed or not. Uh, but I have seen some I'm new to the channel, first time I've watched, uh, and great feedback, still getting great feedback on my last Let's Talk. I don't know. I didn't, uh, I hope people are not seeing the chart and thinking something else now that I, because this was done pretty well. And, um, and I, and I didn't even put on there that it's with John Mangini. That was kind of a last minute type of deal it was uh me and him talked previously during the week uh great guy um really loved our conversation um man he's just down to earth just you know and when you get to watch some of his videos he's really opened himself up to let it let everybody know who he is here recently and uh the man's lived great great a very great life and uh just it's cool I, to listen to stories uh is awesome i'm a person people listening story listening i love history people's history uh, i love all that stuff so um uh let me cut that off well so i don't uh i was getting my baseball updates while at work i just got off and i don't know I have not checked uh, the Mets score yet. <laughs> they were winning pretty handy last time I checked. Uh, but uh, some excitement this week in the hobby, and we'll talk about that Sunday tomorrow night. Hopefully, or Sunday night, next Let's Talk. Hopefully, uh, excuse me one minute. Uh, I, I've been under the weather all week, fighting through it the last couple of days at work. It, I've tested negative. Uh, I think it's just allergies. I, I, I have a bad, in the fall, I get kind of uh, bad off. But anyway, uh, I'm opposite of most people. I'm just not normal in any way, shape, or form, uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> but uh, tomorrow night, uh, hopefully, we'll be talking some football. Uh, I'm planning on um, having Bart on. Um, he is a football guy. I, I I like football, love football. I'm really excited for this season. But the last couple of years, because of the everything going on in the world, I just kind of football just hasn't felt right. And I don't know if it's because the area I moved in with so many people. Um, it's gotten me fired up, not more excited than usual for football. Uh, I just didn't care. I, I, I love my uh, college football, and there's a ton of colleges around me. I might even get to see Virginia play um, this year because uh, I'm off on weekends now for the most part. Uh, so I'm excited about all of that. And I'm not – I mean, I'm 40, 45 minutes away from Charlotte if I want to go to a Panthers game. Uh, so – you know, I have opportunities. I'm kind of, I can't wait for hockey to start because I'm like the same away from Raleigh to go see them. Um, 
So, you know, it, it, I, I'm excited about this upcoming sports altogether. But anyway, we're, I should have Bard on um, tomorrow night, and that's going to be a later start um, to accommodate Bard because uh, I pre anybody who comes on, I'm a very accommodating, I, I can, I'm very flexible. I just want to continue having my Sunday night shows. So that we will be starting at 8.30, I believe. Um, so that way, just to let everybody know. And uh, it won't be all football, and we will have some news. Um, uh, sounds like we had a big signing in baseball today. Um, I need to read up more about that. This will be Friday the 27th. It sounds like J-Rod got an extension. Um, but I need to read more into it. I just got snippets um, on a group chat. And uh, that's exciting um, right there uh, where he'll be, you know, with the Mariners for a while. Uh, so that being said, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm so, you know, I should have made a list of bullet points. I hate making, like, doing any type of co construct, but... Uh, I, I just uh, I just want to thank all the new people. Thanks for all the the support that I've been getting. It's been awesome, and uh, I know usually after the national, a lot of these a lot of our channels really get a lot of support, and I'm hoping to build on that and hopefully to continue with that and um, and you know try to be more structured in what I do. Oh, and Wednesday will be a CSG. Uh, I like to tell you what I'm doing. So Sunday night, bar Wednesday, I should have uh, another CSG kind of uh, like uh, 2025 card. I got it here. Did it with uh, Mike O. Um, I, I had to go through him now some more with some stuff because, you know, $8, I could afford it by myself. $12, uh, you know, I had to make sure, you know, I had some help with it. And 15, I just, you know, that, it, it's only $3. But when you add up 50 cards, that, that adds up quick. And, you know, right now I'm kind of shutting, not shutting down. That's not a good, very slowly, on very slow on cards. If I pick up anything, um, I just picked up four or five Peter Alonzo's this week for like a buck each and a buck shipping. Um on I, I, on eBay uh, auctions, uh, low numbers, and I just can't believe people are. And even I picked up two that I thought was worth uh, paying the five dollars to ship for a buck. Um, so you know, if you're not going after the big daddy cards, it's affordable, I believe, it, and you can find your cards. Not everything's got to be five thousand dollars, a thousand dollar cards. You know, or if that's what you collect, that's fine too. I, I can't say you don't have to be. I, you got to watch what you're saying these days. You don't want to get pigeonholed. But for me, I round out my Pete Alonzo's, and I think I'm going to start collecting he more heavily on one other Met. I used to be a Conforto fan, but I think I got a new guy that I'm happy with, and and I'll I, and we'll talk more about that in the future. Uh, going into like a nine minute mark and haven't even showed a Carter yet. So anyway, I'm going to show this first row and a, and what I have pulled out to get graded uh, to either get better grades or stuff I need. Uh, first, let's do the graded stuff. And this one is going to be the 88 score. This one I just need a better grade on. And I have a mess on my table right now. I was going to just show the mess in that way. But, you know, this one here, uh, this is a cons. And I I started looking for these cons cards because I really like them. Um, I have these sets, a lot of the Mets sets. They gave them away at, the, at games as giveaways or purchase them at the clubhouses, I think. Or not at the clubhouse, but at their... You know retail stores at the ballpark uh so this is one of the cons this is from uh 89 cons not it, those did not come in the hot dogs 89 carter fleer 
again, this is uh, for an upgrade. Um, this is an upper deck, or no, stadium club members only. This is one I need. I was kind of shocked going through these. The studio. Now, a lot of these I have them, but they're not in this good shape, so I did not send them in. Uh, this is the Bowman. And a lot of mine were off center. These are beautiful cards. Uh, this is the uh, 91 upper deck. Uh, gold back, gold hollow. I had the other gold one. I had the gold one, just not again. I have it, and then they did PSA, you know, dirty. So all these are just gonna get stacked away until PSA does another come to come to Jesus moment and bring them. This is gonna be what is this? The 91, 92 tops micro. I have the 93, I believe, another studio. 91 score and again like i know i have that that's when i know i have i just have not sent them in b that's uh don ross that's uh what was that it's the highlights it was a uh uh i like a break this says brace catchers more it was an insert in the 90s where Really wasn't inserts, you know. There were special cards and the tops, like all stars and that. Uh, let's see here. Ninety upper deck again. Uh, this is another one. Like it's got the round hollow on the back. Some of these are gotta like. <laughs> it's gonna be really interesting. Trade it ninety. Did not have that one. Uh, this is going to be uh, Tiffany tops. And the Tiffany has got a very bright back. Most of the time gives it away. Let's see here. Uh, I think I just need, I wanted to upgrade my tops. Uh, I think I got an eight on that. Try to get a better one. 90 score traded. Another micro. This is like a stamp or something that I needed. I, I should have wrote it down. Some of them I need to really write down what they are. Because I really had uh, the cardboard database. Awesome for this type of thing. Awesome. Uh, this is uh, Leaf 90. And this one I'm surprised I have opened these boxes uh in the last few years my car shop had them before they went crazy because the same year of the of the frank thomas um but these were rally, relatively cheap at one point the boxes were uh but they went crazy and i did not i could not get a gary carter I, it was it was almost cheaper to buy a box and try to pull out some more frank thomases than the, than to just buy a gary carter and also it was fun did not have this, nor have I seen it. KB Kings. I my I used to live in KB Toy Store. I was there so much. Love that store. Uh, excuse, I got to get some water. Very dry. My, I have, yeah, I, I believe it. I have tested negative. I don't have, like, all the fatigue and stuff. I just, uh, Headache, Gary Carter. This is at uh, NL Best. Again, um, I've had a chance to buy this set. Uh, I just never have. And then the price went crazy on it. Um, you know, it's, it's a, a decent set. It's not great. I know Griffey's in. I have the Griffey. Uh, but it had an NL and AL. So, like that one. Uh, this is a Bowman. Um, and this is a Tiffany back. You can see how bright it is. Or it's a Tiffany, not Tiffany back. So I did that one. Uh, Warworth, another one I did not have. Now, this is from 89. 
So my Woolworths in my area, I believe, was closed by 89. Um, if I remember correctly, that was my senior year in high school. Uh, so I, I, I'm almost positive. Now the shop, the, the strip mall is still there, but I, the, I believe Woolworths were cl was closed at that time. I love that Woolworths growing up as a kid. Uh, 89, another Tiffany. I'll show you the backs when I, with Tiffany. So uh, 88, or this should be 89. Yeah, 89, all-star. And the only way I have that is in a pack, in a three, in one of the solo three hanger packs, none open, so. Now we got some stickers, the Paninis. I've had some of these graded. Um, these are do not have. Um, these actually, man, they grade all right. Panini did a good job. As you can see, they're well centered. The backs are well done. I, I gotta give Panini back then 89 baseball. You know, uh, you know, this is what they did then. Their stickers, that's kind of what they started with, you know, soccer stickers and, and all that. So there we go with that one, I believe. Yep, this is another one. And again, well made. I, Panini, maybe that's the route they go. If Fanatics left the hole open. Back to what you know. And the reason, okay, now we're going to show this. This is Opeachy now. Now they're known for miscuts, but you can just see it's not, it's not as clean. Uh, and this one, that's got the Gary Carter front and back. So, and man, there's... There's so many of those, but on their registration, they've only asked for a couple of different ones. Uh, they they don't ask for all um, for, for all their versions. And gl thank goodness, uh, eighty nine Opeachy. See the Opeachy. This is a very cool one. Um, this is a the starting lineup now. This guy that has this, I would love to have. I almost purchased a starting lineup since I got it, and I need to get it. So it's a it's a one on one. So it's a one of the starting lineups that have two different people in it. So I got Gary Carter on one side, and then Eric Davis. Now this is two different cards. I just haven't opened it up, but he kept both of them together because they're both in the same package. It, it's kind of. I, the, wait till I, I probably won't get to everything. I'll probably just go through what I'm sending in. And then next week we'll go through stuff I've already gone through and uh, like things that are, it's, it's mind blowing. Superstars of baseball, Gary Carter, KB. I didn't have this one. I've seen these and I don't know why I don't have this one. Cause I know I've opened up some of those. It used to be, you know, the whole set came in boxes. I used to go to KB's just to get them. And I'm pretty sure that's the 89. So I'm pretty sure my KB, that was one of the last things to close. If you're watching this and you know Central Virginia and Old Walnut Mall uh, in Petersburg, um, it's no longer there. But the KB's was one of the last stores to close in there. <laughs> This one here, I wish I could find another one because it just looks diamond cut on the red. Uh, you see where the flare is? It doesn't look as thick there as it does on the other side. This is called a Fleer Superstars. I have never seen this card. It's an 89. This is another one I'm sure was sold in the little boxes. 88, 89, not early 90s. That was a huge thing. All these sets were little box sets uh this is the 89 uh fleer glossy now you can see on the back it says classic edition i believe fleer and they call it the uh glossy i learned that while finding this i knew there were glossies out there but i couldn't know i did not know how to tell the difference and i got bitten on one that I bought that said it was glossy and it wasn't. So learned a lot. These two I have, as I got as well. Uh, 
I just never sent them in. These are Ted Williams uh, editions. I think you're 89 cards. It was a set, 87, excuse me. And uh, I want to say it was like his trust or whatever put a set together of players, players he liked. Uh, I don't really didn't understand. I understand it, but, you know, I, I never saw him until I started collecting Gary Carter's. I, like I said, I got both of those, had them for a while. Um, just never sent them in. Upper Deck. Uh, I think this is another one with the gold hollow. I have to look at it again. Again, I should have marked the ones. Yeah, that's the gold hologram on the back. And this one here is the, uh, I have the Rockies already graded. This is the Marlins I need. 93. And then I also have like the gold. I got a winner. <laughs> that year has quite a bit different ones. Uh, this one here is a uh, Don Ross checklist. I did not have it. I knew it was out there. Just never, never picked it up. Just, you know, something you don't find. You don't find Gary Carter's very often in boxes or shows unless it's his rookie graded or, you know, an autograph. Or you find eight by tens, you'll find magazines. You just don't find many cards. Gary Carter again. This is, or all of them are Gary Carter's. This is going to be uh, 92 upper deck. Another one I have. Now, this is a a uh, triple play awesome action card. And it's Gary Carter with Mike. I thought it was Socha, but it's not. It is Finley. It looks like Steve Finley coming over his back there. Um, and this is in the registry. I did not know it was. I have these. But as I had the registry pinned up, looking at what I needed, and I did not know I had needed this, so I pulled it out. I, I got it. I've had it for a long time. Um, you know, it, I, it doesn't even have Gary Carter's name anywhere. Oh, yeah, it does. And it does have Steve Finley crashing into a Gary Carter. I just learned to read this week, so I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, pretty cool that's in there. Uh, this is an 89 Don Ross, but it's not from the set. I forget what this one is from. It's a specialty card. It's not from the regular 89 Mets or 89 set. And if I show you the back, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know that's not the 89 back. I wish I had an 89 here, but that's not the way they look. And also there were... A little different on the side. I can't. I think this is like Don Ross Best or Don Ross All Stars. I can't remember what that is called. Forgive me on that one. Uh, this one here. Oh, this is the Don Ross All Stars. So that is the best, I believe. So this was another little set they made. Me. I thought eighty nine is just cute. These a bunch of these little sets that the Don Ross Fleer tops. They it was just crazy. It was the start. That was the, that was the start of figuring out different ways to get your product out there. Yeah, this is going to be a long video. Thanks for hanging in. Uh, this is the classic from 1989. Did not have this one, nor have I ever seen it. Um, you know, you would think as a Carter collector, collector, some of this I would see. This is a Bowman Tiffany. Pinnacle. I like this card, but I did not have one that looked that good. My pinnacles were all messed up. This one I just bought, <laughs> and then I got this one, which looks better than the one I bought. So, luckily, I haven't sent any of them in. Uh, PG Premium, Premier 92. Didn't have the uh, Premier 92. I had the 91 series. And then they made this Opeachy set. 
And if you go back and see me and uh, the night that Nats man fell asleep, uh, me and uh, uh, Eric talk about this, those back pages, the tribute set, which I had some, didn't have all of them, but now I do. And I didn't have any of them sent in. And you're like, man, this is going to make a dent. And this is, I think I need 682 cards in this series. And I have, I, now, I, I mean, this is going to make a big dent because this is the leaf from uh, 92. And, oh, yeah, that's the black. And this is the silver. And then the star set, which is just nuts. And, you know, it's on the registry. And I know, like, PSA makes such a big deal out of the Jordan star. But these are on their registry. So that would mean they have to grade them, right? I mean, if I send them in and it's on the registry. These are 88 star. And this is what's weird. All these special sets and tributes and all this stuff. And he's just not the Hall of... He's not in the upper echelon of Hall of Famers. He's like one row. But us Carter fans are very passionate about him. Do I know everything? No, there's Carter fans that know a lot about him. I bet you Carter's kids, if you watch him, that, that guy has incredible stuff. Uh, I just don't collect that way. Um, and I would love to have some of the stuff he shows. Uh, but I have, now that I have this set, I can kind of chill out on trying to find Carter's as much as I would like to find Carter memorabilia, uh, game use stuff, things he wore. That's the kind of the way I'm starting to go. And that's going to be tough, tough road and pricey, pricey, pricey. Uh, that's all the stars. And this is the game winner. Game winners. Who made this? It's got to be, yeah, it was Sport Flicks. <clears throat> Another card I've never seen. So most of these I've seen. Uh, a lot I haven't. Um, but, man, this set, and next week, I'll go over the the side of stuff that I either have we can go right through or stuff that PSA is not in the registry or stuff that's unlicensed that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, the regional stuff, stuff that's kind of made for, you know, for whatever reason. Uh and there's some stuff that I kind of want to look up to find out what it came from. Uh, so that way I can be knowledgeable to tell you, oh, this is a piece from this, this, and this. So until next time, uh, please check us out on Sunday night. Let's talk. Nats man, Bart. Um, we uh, think he still gets by our PSA guy. Um, he just was on with, uh, with, um, JT, 20, uh, Triple Crown 24. That was a great episode. Um, that's I love that that the, that that show that JT has there. Different angle on, on, on the hobby. Uh, so let's have some fun Sunday night. Until then, like, share, tell a friend. You know, let me know if I messed up anything on this or something I need to look into for Gary Carter's. Uh, man, I, I'm having so much fun with this set, along with other stuff. And it's just been a great year for a Mets fan right now. I hope we don't tank here at the end. So until next time, see ya.